Can anyone cast reveal invisibility? Creamy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Or dispel magic. I think I could do that as well. If only we had some kind of skilled wizard or bard. What 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 should, what shall I do? I think it's invisible. Hmm. Let's do both. Well, let's let's dispel some magic. Okay. Uh, so make a um, roll a d20 and add your um, uh, add your Add spell casting ability. Uh, I guess it'd be your spell attack bonus plus seven. Yeah, it's a seven. So a D twenty plus seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, so you feel uh, the invisibility spell drop, and also another spell that would have been triggered had the lid been opened prematurely is also deactivated. Well, I should use that more often. <laughs> <laughs> We've been telling you to cast more spells for a long time, group. <laughs> I'm always uh, casting vicious mockery. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and the chest pops into view. Do you investigate it? Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any other traps mechanical traps um, tied to the chest uh, opening mechanism there are some uh, on your investigation you do see some small runes uh, that would have triggered a spell uh, that you figure would have triggered the spell um, trap but Creamy's spell seems to have deactivated them mm. is it locked or is it uh, it is locked Take that shit. Kurak, would you like to try your key? I don't think it'll work on this, but I'll give it a go. I'll try my key. Yeah, this is, uh, the key is much larger than the lock hole. The, the key's for the gates. I start slamming the key into the hole. It takes you actually, it actually takes you quite a while. It's quite a complicated locking mechanism. And you're beginning to get a bit frustrated, but then you hear that satisfying and the chest opens, revealing mm -mm -mm. a small weather-beaten diary mm. uh, and some assorted papers. Oh, a fist-sized diamond. Fist-sized diamond? It's not a full, <laughs> full plate nail. I forgot. We still have... Um... Peaches with us, don't we? Peaches ran off down the corridor and you didn't reclaim her. <laughs> <laughs> she's definitely dead. I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> Pardon, what's this diary say then? Uh, front page in elegant scrawl The Diary of Sir Brian Orion. <clears throat> Uh, it seems to be quite detailed. 
flicking through, you do catch some keywords of uh, murder, hags, uh, children. You could read it, uh, you could spend some time, perhaps um, a short... Uh, a, you could probably get the gist of it, flicking through it, if you spend a short rest reading it with the intelligence check. Maybe we should just take it with us and head back to the place and look at it there. Maybe I should go find peaches. Yes, we do need to look after find peaches. <laughs> what if it gave us more clues about this dungeon? Though? No, I don't care. So I just the remembered. <laughs> the assorted uh, papers in there. Uh, are all case reports. The missing case reports. Oh. <gasps> the evidence oh, we God. need. All of them appear to be um, uh, stretching back three de uh, almost four decades. Um, they appear to all be um, missing women or murdered women, or missing children. Right. Let's pick up Peaches and head back. We can explore this area later. Let's just cordon it off. This is a crime scene. Is, um... Is Wade's kid in there, as a report? Yes. There's no time. <laughs> uh, missing child report for Jade to Blood Current is in there. I burn it. Filed by Sir Brian Orion. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> Peaches. <laughs> is this not something you want to hear about, <laughs> Wade? Peaches. No. <laughs> is your dead kid? I need to find peaches. Peaches. Help! Help! Is that you? I can't see a thing. Why did you run off? Fly that peaches. Because you told me to. There you are. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, enough talk. Out of this enough awful chip. place. Uh, so, uh, uh, Peaches, who can't see a thing, uh, Bubbles even, who can't see a thing, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> 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 we're just, Sorry, I'm we're just strong, strong retcon there, uh -huh. I'm as guilty as everyone else, Bubbles is clutching onto your uh, <laughs> shoulder because she can't see, she's relying on your dark vision. Okay. Should we get over this? Yep, so you can uh so either you can jump across by making a uh dexterity acrobatics check, or else you could try and use some of your items to make a bridge. Rope would lower the DC. Did we do something else last time, like athletics going along the side? I caught everyone on the other side, or some people on the other side. I think it was acrobatics going across the side, or athletics to jump across. You jumped and I helped because I was already over the other side. So I fell in it. Okay, acrobatics. 23 on the other side. Catch me, Kurek. Okay, I'm Catch ready. Me. You can do it with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> John Gainsall, you need to help me throw uh, bubbles across. So you, uh, wait, who who rolled four? Why it's, it's with advantages. So I got twelve. Oh, twelve is okay. 12. Yeah, twelve's fine. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Actually, no, it's not. It's not. What? It's not fine. <laughs> no. You fall down the pit. Uh, into the, onto the spikes. And take 2d10 <laughs> plus 1d6 damage. I pierced my foot on the spike. Why did we not use the rope? <laughs> Free rope. <laughs> 2d10. 2d10 plus 1d6. 2d10. One. That's a good roll. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. I don't much. have any rope. Six damage. You get some in your adventurer's pack. Bloody yeah. spikes. Oh yeah, I've got hemp and rope. Okay. Uh, so you can climb out uh, relatively easily from there. I won't make you roll for it. <laughs> I'll chuck some rope across. Okay. Alright. So that lowers the uh, DC acrobatics to a uh, 10 to get across. <laughs> We're going to um, chuck um, peaches or bubbles or whatever oh, it yeah. is across. Yeah. So make a strength check with advantage. What's your strength, Dave? Oh, I think you look stronger, Gigantor. Me too. <laughs> Funny. Yep, you lob uh, <laughs> through the bubbles across. She's screamed, <laughs> and she uh, lands in uh, Wade's arms. Oh, so strong! <laughs> what? Isn't he just, just been climbing out of the pit? <laughs> Blood stained off. Yeah, Wade's well, just like clambering out of the pit, like bleeding, and <laughs> so it almost gets taken out by a bubble that's thrown in his face. <laughs> just manages to catch her in time. Well, I'm gonna jump across. <laughs> catch me, boys! <laughs> Uh, easy peasy. You do, in fact don't even need catching. You land <laughs> gracefully. Surprisingly oh, gracefully. The... Oh shit. You can do it with advantage. Uh, you got, you got it with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Now it's all down to Creamy. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm too old for this stuff. Okay, so you come to the ladder. Uh, what order are you ascending? Stealthy first, probably. I can't remember where this leads up to. Oh, it leads up to the, um, the abandoned building. I think someone should have a peek up there first. Go on, Tavron, roll. Bill. What is someone doing down in my <laughs> That's yeah, fucking no well dodgy. Who's playing the bongos? <laughs> Playing the banjo more like. <laughs> I'll stealth my way up. Okay. Right. So is that me shaking my leg? Is it that? Yeah. No, it's yeah. you, yeah. you, you wanking <laughs> off your, your dick. Leg. <laughs> <laughs> that was good to do. Shaking your third leg all over the place. <laughs> so. You ascend, all of you. Uh, and as you ascend, you hear a familiar voice from around the corner. Well, who's been snooping around my property? Hiya. This is one yours too, Sir Brian. Uh, so Brian walks out. Intruder? I'm afraid I can't abide intruders. Where is she? Especially you. Is that him there? Alright, oh, you yeah. fuck off, Sir Brian. Where is he? Oh, he's across the, the other side, side of the pit. Yeah. You imprison bubbles. I'm gonna viciously. Bubbles is still at the bottom of the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the steps and can hear this transpiring, so she's not ascending. Stay down there, Bubbles. Wade, <laughs> do you know this man killed your loving daughter? 
What? <laughs> well, do you get? Does he get some sort of rage bonus? Uh, so Brian looks at you with cold eyes. Uh, he lights a torch first, so you actually can see him. Uh, he strikes a torch. Can we illuminate this room? Does this room have windows? Oh, <laughs> it's precariously on the edge of that plank. Uh, <laughs> uh, come across, Sir Brian. <laughs> Sir Brian uh, illuminates the, uh, his... Uh, strikes his torch, illuminating his face, and he's got a cold, steely expression. I'm afraid this has gone on long enough. My mistresses have been patient, waiting for me to deal with your problem, hoping that you would see the error of your ways and abandon your folly, but I've had quite enough of this, and I've had quite enough of you, the blood current. You yeah. and your morals, your outstanding uh, devotion to this fucking city. <laughs> Meow. Wow. Why, why have you served these evil witches? What do you get out of it? I, they have given me everything. And now I will deliver them at your hands. <laughs> uh, make a perception check. All of us. Yeah. Give me everything tonight. Is that everyone? Uh, uh how wrong? Uh, perception. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's only uh, Creamy that notices two archers uh, on the uh, uh, on the scaffolding with bows pointed at you. Actually, I think you can only see one of them. Uh, I need you all to roll initiative. What the hell? Strong six. Ba -ba. Who can play that game? Your game. Who <laughs> can play the game? Has everyone rolled initiative? Yeah. 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 Okay, Tavron's first. I will shoot at the archer. Uh, this one here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that's a hit. Oh, what, what? Does Jimmy know he's there? Yeah. Um, it depends. Have you let them know that they're there? I'll say as a bonus action, you can uh, at least gesture. I'll go. Watch out for the fucking archer over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Creamy. I will now fire my short bow at him. They weren't hidden. They were just you just hadn't noticed them. I assume I can't do sneak attack. Uh, you cannot, no. Uh, so that's uh, seven piercing. And the arrow goes straight into his thigh, uh, and he lets out a howl. He's bleeding, you seem to have hit an artery. Oh. 
Uh, are you doing anything else? Um, you can hide as a bonus action. Yeah, I'll hide. Probably needs to go around a corner or something. I hide in this pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, hide, I'll hide behind the corner. Okay. Yeah, make a stealth check. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Uh, Kurak. Yeah. Okay. Um, my turn order's gone all weird. Hang on, I got 12. You got 12? Yeah, yeah, you have got 12. Yeah, you have got 12. This creamy's got 14. Oh, you're just two, there's just two of you on here. And there's, and Sir Brian Ryan got 14 as well. Yeah, that's, that's what it says. I got yeah. 14 though. Oh wait, no. No, that's my perception one side. That's what I get. You are 11. Yeah. yeah so Turn one. order's correct for me. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So, Brian, did you get 19 or 14 correct? I, I got 11, which is right on here. It's all right. Mm -hmm. uh, Mine says 11. It's got Sir Brian, Brian and Ryan on 14, then Creamy on 14, Morglaf on 12, me on 11. Yeah, I'm on 6. Yeah. 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 That's, I mean, that's what you're out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah what's, what's the confusion here? You not okay, I, I forgot my my name wasn't Sir Brian Ryan for a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's so enraged. Joe, are you seeing it correctly? Is Joe there? No, I'm back. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think the turn order is buggered up because there's like duplicates in there. Not for us. It's all perfect for us for some reason. Yeah, it's fine for us. Yeah. What is, what's got? Got? Pardon? What's, what initiative has Kurek got? Eleven. 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 Okay, so this one's wrong. Uh, Creamy's fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. glass twelve. Tavron's mm -hmm. twelve. Or is no. Tavron twenty-one? Twenty-one. I'm twenty-one. Okay. Kurek's eleven. Archer nine, Archer second, seven. Wade six. Yep. Creamy's not six. No. Okay, I think I'm. And Wade's not one. Alright, I'm fixed. So it's Sir Brian's go. Yeah. What's going to happen there? It's weird. Uh. To Brian Orion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Brian is going to <clears throat> uh, cast. Uh, that one do? The concentration. No, oh, it is concentration. Still, I think I'm do it. Uh, so Brian uh, gestures his hands, uh, and a blue um, force momentarily appears around his outline uh, before it fades. Mm. Duration. Okay. Up to ten minutes. Bastard. Uh, he's then going to move thirty foot, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and that's his go. He is not afraid. <laughs> so. Uh, is he concentrating on this thing, then? 
Yeah. I don't really get how concentration works. Can he not do anything else if he's concentrated? No, you can. You, you can do. You can't cast another concentration spell. And if okay. you get hit, you have to make a, a check to a spell check to see if you maintain concentration on your spell. Okay. Uh, Creamy is gay. Okay. You can always dispel magic and such. I'm going to. Yeah. Um. Over to here. Where I will. Yep, no, that was what I meant to do. That's definitely a hit. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> 17 damage. I'd also like to, as a bonus action, uh, inspire my, my fellow... Okay, I'll just see if he keeps his concentration. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you take damage while you're concentrating, you must make a constitution saving throw uh, to maintain your concentration. DC equals 10 or half the damage you take, whichever number is higher. Uh, so, 10 then. Concentration saving throw. Was it constitution check or saving throw, did it say? Uh, I must make a saving throw. Okay. He's lost concentration. Hmm. <laughs> Boom. Okay. Uh, and you're going to aid yep. some of your people. I am. I'm going to uh, grab the old. Uh, what instruments do I have? You have your the instrument. Your oh, spell I... instrument is your bandor. I think it is called. Oh yeah. Yep. So I'll grab that out. And start uh, singing a joyful tune. Okay. And who are you get? Is it one person you can inspire? Uh, I believe so. Yep. Okay. And is it D six or what's the yeah, D? Yeah. Yep. D six. To attack uh, rolls and saving throws yeah okay is that the end of your game uh yeah but i've got to pick someone oh yeah who's it going to be uh uh gigantor gigantor Yay. okay i'll mark you so that we remember what do i get with you've got bardic inspiration Uh, so you get to add d6 to your um, an attack roll, okay. or I think it is um, a saving throw. I presume you only get to do it once. Okay. It says, uh, once within the next ten minutes, the creature can roll the die and add the number rolled to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Yeah. Creature can wait until after it rolls the d20 before deciding to use the bardic inspiration. Uh, okay. okay. She passed. So it's your go. Okay, I'm gonna go into a rage. Rah. I'm gonna hit Sir Brian Orion. 
Where's my great axe? And I'm gonna add the thing, the roll to that as well. So that becomes. Oh, so you roll 1d6. So 15. It's a miss, I'm afraid. Bugger. Right, I'm gonna use my second attack. 26. That's the hit. I'll hit him. Uh, 16. And I'm also gonna go into a frenzy, which will cause a level of exhaustion afterwards. Okay. It, it means I basically get a third attack. For the duration of a rage. Oh, it's a miss anyway. Frenzy miss. Okay, so Morglath is frothing at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and other areas. Uh, is that the end of your game? Um, yeah. Uh, it's Kurax going. I am going to move 15 foot to him and hit him with my Warhammer. Uh, that's a miss. Oh, then I'm going to do another one. <laughs> also a miss. Then I'm going to do Flurry of Blows. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. And then I'm going to use one more key point. Six damage, and starting at fifth level, you can interfere with the flow of a key in an opponent's body when you hit another creature with a melee weapon. Would that count as a melee weapon? With fists? Um, it's not a weapon. Uh, do fists count as melee weapons? Oh, okay. No, it doesn't count because okay. it's not a weapon. It says for your, uh, instead of using weapons to make a melee we weapon attack, you can... None of which count as weapons. Okay. Yeah. So just six damage. Yeah. Okay. Is that the end of your game? Yeah, that was... Uh, out of four attacks, I thought I'd do something a bit more than that. <laughs> Just one flurry of blow. Exactly. One big blow. <laughs> okay. One so this archer is going to attack. Um, he's going to attack Creamy. Crossbow. 20. It's a hit. Three piercing damage. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> uh, and that's his. Is that his go? Uh, Can the other one even see us? Um. Well, I mean, so Brian's got his torch lit, so he can see where the torch is. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's the end of his go, and the other one's going to... Uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay. It's Wade's go. Right, I'm going to... Back in. Oh. 
Yes, wide. Strong. That's a hit. Oh, is that one I rolled? I can re-roll one. Using my other ability bar. Great weapon fighting thing. Can we roll damage? When you roll one or two on a damage die, attack you. Oh, and nice. Good. That's good. I'm going to retry it out. Okay, so you can just click on the attack again. That's a. Okay. Okay. Good. And I'm also going to do another attack. That's really good. Oh. Yeah. He's got very in his mind. Uh, yeah. Oh. How do you want to do it? Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his armor class was 20, and when he had that shield up, 22, and you just <laughs> annihilated him. <laughs> <laughs> He's so <laughs> weak. He attack. He just did. He got a shield and face and this. <laughs> <laughs> he lost his concentration and just yeah. got I just kind of um, flay up his arm, taking all the skin off, <laughs> um, like a like a peeler. Of, and um, well, I mean, uh, he's got full plate on, so good luck. Oh, <laughs> peels through. I the just tape. Uh, cut his arm off. And he bleeds to death. <laughs> Just <laughs> not a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just to uh, the, other, the other two lower their weapons at the sight of this and uh, sort of duck into the shadows. After them. No, they, no, they don't. <laughs> uh, we give chase. Out of combat. Oh, then they can't. They haven't left. They're just sort of putting their hands up. Well, I'll shotgun him in the fucking face then. Dickheads. Uh... Boys, we can't leave any witnesses. Uh... Oh, this is too sad. This is not, not, not appropriate music. No, he's dead. You there, archers, get your asses down here. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I investigate um, yeah, Sir Brian's body. Uh, Sir so, so, so Brian's not quite dead yet. He's on the ground, he's clutching his severed arm, and he's <laughs> fro uh, blood sort of frothing out of his mouth, and he looks up with absolute hatred at you. <sighs> you may have bested me to blood current. They will come for you now. You don't understand their power. They won't stop until they have you. <laughs> it closes his eyes and the life leaves his body. Oh. Maybe I should heal him. <laughs> so you can kill him again. I slam my uh, warhammer into his head. <laughs> and it uh, obliterates his head. Right. Um, you're all stood very close around him, so it coats you all in his brain. I'm still in a like blind rage frenzy. <laughs> I want blood. I want to go and kill this fucking archer over here. I think I was running straight over. <laughs> I'm investigating the uh, body <laughs> of Wade. They're on their knees. That's nice. Great axe. <laughs> <laughs> that immediately. Uh, yeah, so Gigantor runs up, uh, climbs the ladder in a frenzy to the first one. He's on his knees. Going, no, no, and you just pummel your axe into his shoulder. No. His head is just lopped off to the side. <laughs> and he coats you in a fountain of blood. And you you stare with horror, Wade. And it's like you just see this giant man coated in blood, sort of white teeth, uh, in a grimace. <laughs> Stop, calm down, Jagator. I'm not seeing reason. 
I've run over just, to the other I've one. I've just tried to uh, call <laughs> charm person. Can I? Make, make a do. perception check. Because he's hidden, obviously, after seeing this. He's got one now. What? Who's making that check? Uh, make you need to make a perception check because you're looking for him. Because he, after hearing his friend get murdered, he's tried to hide. Oh, okay. Um, I've tried to cast a a charm person on. Uh, okay. Gargantle. He's hiding incredibly poorly. So, <laughs> uh, Gigantle, you need to make a um, wisdom saving throw. Um, oh, minus one. Ah, oh. <laughs> so you are brought under the charm of Creamy. I need that to be role played for it to be believable. <laughs> um. <laughs> Creamy could just say go and kill him. <laughs> well, it's just a spell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's charmed by you. Um, so you, you, he regards, he regards you as a friendly acquaintance. Which you are. <laughs> so he's, it elevates the, 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 He um, didn't, he tried to shoot you, Creamy. Yeah. So, um, he's, uh, yeah, he, he, he will listen to what you say. Okay. Let's hope this persuasion roll works. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! You can make it with advantage. Doesn't need to. I'd, uh, well, I couldn't possibly roll. beat it. Okay. What are you so persuading what are you, me to what do? Are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Gigantor. They've, sur they've surrendered. That is the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, there were two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just cowering, with his sword over his face on the floor. Oh, no. I, I just, I pick him up and I bring him over to the rest of the group. Okay. I'm over here. I let him look at his friend as we walk past. <laughs> his eyes, he's just white and his eyes are full of horror. <laughs> so you gather round the bloodied corpse with a smashed in, caved in skull. That used to have the smug face of Sabrina right on the planet. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mutilate corpses. Good. I think you would have appreciated that because he killed your daughter. It's <laughs> not the way to a righteous path. Can I investigate his body? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How big is it? <laughs> a bit of grey bobbing's fine though. <laughs> Make an investigation check. That's the wrong one. Sorry. You're trying to intimidate his dead body. <laughs> oh, that's good. A powerful investigation. I look in every nook, cranny, and crevice. Um, oh, it's the wrong one. Uh, what does he have? Uh, he has a extremely fine-looking longsword. Mm. Seems to be glowing. Fine-looking longsword. Uh, it's gold, much like his armour, and the hilt is white, white leather. Oh, has he got full plate armour? He has full plate armour on. Oh. Gold and full plate armour of the Order of the Bronze, marked with the Order of the Bronze's seal. That's bound to be pretty good. Can we pick up some of that? Well, it's, I think it also glows with a soft gold light. I think it would suit you, Wade. <laughs> the other thing was the uh, armor. Wade should change his. He avatar. was level nine. Really? 
It was a fifth level. It was a fifth level paladin, and a fourth level uh, warlock. If Wade wears that armor, can he change his avatar so he's wearing the gold armor? I could probably character. do it. Yeah, he could just become Soprano, right? <laughs> Got the same hair color and everything. That's quality armor. Uh, and he also has. Do you have anything else? No, that's about it. He has a small key on him. Uh, okay, small key. Very difficult. Yeah, I'm not very intelligent. I was probably for that chest, wasn't it? No, he's, no, he's been... um... Intelligence. Oh, I can't. See. Oh, is it? Oh, it's here. It's, here. <laughs> it's a key. Has <laughs> anyone got high intelligence? Uh, thirteen. I've got zero. Use the torch! <laughs> a bloody clever torch! The torch can't make it. Uh, Kurak, you recognise that key, uh, at least the shape of it and the size, is about roughly the size of the chest that you <laughs> uncovered in that chamber. The invisible chest. <laughs> the key. <laughs> Did, um... <laughs> Change the subject. Did someone pick up a a, a cape or something? Yeah, I did. I need to decipher it and a long rest. So you're all after it's it's the, it's the end of the day, and on this day, it's the same day that you went to the Feywild, travelled four hours in the Feywild in under one minute on the Prime Material plane. Uh, it's the same day you went to. Uh, the, that you'd originally gone to um, Wade's house, uh, and then you, in the afternoon, you had all this debacle, and the sun's setting now. You all have one point of exhaustion, apart from, uh, apart from Gigantor, who has two points of exhaustion. I need a rest. Let's go. You are knackered. Is it? You get, when you decide. So, that, uh, for one point of ex exhaustion, you you have disadvantage on the, all ability checks. And for two points, your speed is halved. Uh, and just for future references, for three points, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Four points, your hit point maximum is halved. Five points, your speed is reduced to zero. And at six points, you die. <laughs> and a long rest removes one one exhaustion point. Okay. Just one. Okay, I need a go. long rest. I need two long rests. <laughs> when you decipher that um, cape, can I have a look at it? Because I don't, I can't wear armor. Neither, neither can I. Can okay. you not? No. Well, I can, but I get bonus for not wearing armor. But the cape doesn't affect the armor. My bonus. Mm. Cape okay. uh, Let's get to the right place. Not there. <laughs> Where the Not there. Oh my god. Not there. <laughs> Where are we? <Yeah. laughs> That's the one. Teleported. Okay. Can we well, go to, going to an inn? Or... Come on, Bubbles. So you're just by uh, Bubbles' safe house. Yeah, Bubbles comes up, sees the, the mutilated remains of. Uh, Gigantor. What are you doing with the, uh, of, uh, Sir Brian? What are you doing with the, uh, the other one? The other guy? Uh, throw him in a river or something. 
I mean, he is a witness. Oh, the alive one. Yeah. Oh, what do you want to do with him, Creamy? I was going to kill him. <laughs> well, I, I, th I think uh, Wade needs to make some sort of judgment about that. Oh, I handcuff him and take him. Do you have some handcuffs? <laughs> yeah, great handcuffs. Okay, yeah. Some irons. Slap him in irons. So where are you taking him? <laughs> Should we go to the back to the um, bloke at the tour to Bronze? Uh, it's quite far and we're all quite knackered. Or do you want to... Yeah, where are we on the map? Yeah, where are You're we? near Bubble, next to Bubbles' is safe house. Oh, should we just go back to the... Uh... Should we sleep at Bubbles' is safe house? Did you not want to take that guy and put him in prison? What did you want to do with him? Question well, him outside of the... I think I'm uh... a wanted man as well. Oh moment. god. Oh yeah, Bubbles' is safe house probably. Bubbles' is safe house. Okay. Have a little sleepy. And then, uh... You get into Bubbles' safe house. I believe you still have the keys for it. Isn't isn't the safe house um It's compromised, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh is it? Oh, Old Drizzler. Uh, yeah, you open it up and it's still in a state of decay. Um it's uh there's still a like symbol of the um Witches of the Moor in blood on the ceiling and the furniture's turned over and wrecked. It's not staying here, boys. Mm. Oh, Drizzla. We'll be, we'll be welcome. We need to take Bubbles back there anyway. We can lay low there for a while. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you make it back to the old Drizzla. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's called the old drizzler or the drizzling plunge. <laughs> Let's rest the Don't blame me, bunk. it's I mean, Dave Wells' it's creation. Oh, <laughs> it's a brothel, what do you want? <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, the door opens. Oh, creme. And Bubbles, oh, back to me. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I'm so relieved. Um, we Sweet Strawberry uh, hurries you in and pours, uh, pours you all a large glass of wine. And the other girls give uh, Creamy and Bubbles big cuddles. Is that the other prostitute's name? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet Strawberry is uh, is Creamy's mum. <laughs> <laughs> Family <Yeah>. orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Can we sleep here? Uh, yeah. See, uh, they sort you out some uh, rooms, a couple of rooms between you. Uh, some <laughs> put some blankets on the floor. For, uh, there's some double beds that you can share as well. Uh, and they, uh, before going to bed, that uh, Sweet Strawberry insists on cooking you a big uh, and fairly hearty uh, meal of um, sausages. Plenty <laughs> 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 sausages already. <laughs> 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 Okay, can I guess I... we should... Oh, go on, sorry. Can I decipher this thing during the long rest? This robe? Uh, yes, cloak. you can. Shimmering cloak. Um... Can I decipher the sword? Yep, yeah, the sword. Uh, mm. The sword is a long sword plus one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the cloak is, uh, it's, uh, it's called the Cloak of Grace. It requires you to become attuned to it. 
like most magical items do. Um, and it allows you to the user to cast Featherfall once per day. Uh, it also billows uh, magically rand at random intervals. Does what at random intervals? Bellows? Uh, billows majestically. What's Does anyone that? fight with a longsword? Who wants it? Uh, I've got a great axe that's similar, so I don't need it. Greenie's got a long sword, hasn't she? Mm -hmm. Do you not fight with one? I fight with a two-handed sword. Oh, it's one-handed. Oh. Yeah, you, well, you can have the uh, long sword plus one. Mm. I think Korak can use plus one weapons as well. Uh, use long sword as well, sorry. Yeah, I can, but is it my Kensai weapon, though? Uh, potentially not. Uh, actually, I, I can't remember what how many weapons I could choose for Kensai. Uh, is anyone going to have a look at the armor? Oh uh, yeah, look at the armor. I should have looked at the armor. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it is full plate of fire resistance. Oh, wow. So, yes, please. Uh, so it's full plate armor, and it gives you resistance to fire damage when you wear it. I think it's only Wade and Gigantor that could wear it. Then can I wear full plate? You can, but you, it, you can't rage or use any of your barbarian abilities while using it. Yeah, it's much better to not wear any armor. What does attuned mean? Certainly I can have it. Yeah, of course, uh, Wade, you know you know full well that only paladins of the Order of the Bronze are allowed to wear this plate. Oh, I bet I'll put it on, yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just carrying it. Uh, is it plate armor okay. fire resistance? Plate armor of fire resistance, yeah. Full plate of fire resistance. Oh yeah, plate armor of fire resistance, that's the one. Can you get yeah. cloaks that give you like bonus on um like AC? Yeah, and also rings of protection. They're expensive though. How much they usually um go for? Uh you <laughs> would have no idea. About that. Who is Torch? <laughs> right. I think we will leave it there then tonight. <laughs> so as you settle down for a well-deserved rest after what has been quite a day. Uh, the... Uh, where are we? So I think it's now the 11th. Oh no. Yeah, it's now the 11th. So, we will pick up on the morning of the 11th of Midsummer. <laughs> Love it. Out, boys. Am I, am I allowed? Should I click on this link? <laughs> <laughs> Is it the egg cracker? Oh, no.
Right, is everyone around next week? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Good, yeah. good. All right, I'll catch you boys on Monday then. Nice. See you later. later. See you later. Bye. Bye.